Saturn is definitely not an evil planet. People be like, well, there's a hexagon. Like, really? You scared of a fucking hexagon, man? Holy crap. The circle is still the most powerful symbol in the solar system. Stay cool. I don't know if you know this. Thor news is for winners. And that's why you're here. To so stick around. I need your love. This is a Thor news presentation. Hit the button, baby. And here we go. Thor News presents... Everyone of you dicks wants to talk about planets. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this Saturday Saturn video is going to be packed with a lot of wonderful information. First, last month, about a month ago, it was reported to us that the hexagon on top of Saturn has gone from blue to gold. Scientists are investigating potential causes for the change in color of the region inside the North Polar Hexagon on Saturn. So that's fascinating, right? Why did it happen? I don't know. Scientists are getting paid the big bucks to speculate. But in the best news of all, Saturn has been in its retrograde shadow period since 1987. And that comes to an end this week. That is wonderful, wonderful news. That is my personal opinion. It's Saturn, much like the monolith, is neutral. Neither good nor bad. And Saturn's been being used and abused by Mars. So to me, it is wonderful news to finally be getting out of this era of endless war. So rejoice and celebrate. All right, now let's get to the hard science. We're over at Bad Astronomy with the Bad Astronomer at Slate with our buddy, Phil Plate, November 15th. An eerie hex on Saturn. Oh, Phil, man. Oh, Phil, don't be scared, man. Planets are scary. And like I was just saying, the hex is over. Well, I mean, it will be in about a week. And that we are going to resurrect romance for the Renaissance and also rock and roll, good movies, and good art because they have been dead for far too long. Phil says... Two things I love, astronomy and cool clouds. Wow, me and Phil have at least two things in common. I too love astronomy and cool clouds. And he loves them even more when I can enjoy both at the same time. Phil lives in Colorado, last I heard. I wonder if he enjoys smoking and drinking and astronomy and cool clouds, because those four things can't go together very well. Though I only recommend it for semi-stable, semi-cool adults. The image above is of Saturn, taken by the Cassini space probe on September 5th when it was about 1.4 million kilometers from the planet. Using its wide angle camera, equipped with a filter that lets through near infrared light. This is just outside what our eyes can see. And it emphasizes the location of the methane gas in Saturn's upper atmosphere. Man, we got methane gas all over the place, all over the solar system. It's interesting. The hexagon though, you spelled though wrong. It's supposed to be T-H-O. Get with it, Phil. It's so creepy looking. Ah, it's not that creepy, too. Geometry doesn't creep me out. Like, it's artificial. A construct. But it's natural. Asterisk? I mean, you haven't been there. You don't know. You know? As far as I know, we've never really cracked the clouds. It's Saturn, so we don't know what's going on. I mean, I'm not really disagreeing with you saying it's not natural. I'm just saying. We can't verify. You can't verify. It's something like our jet stream. Broken and really weird? A circulating wind pattern that blows around the planet. I don't know of anything that blows in straight lines. Go ahead and... Make up your own joke here. These are called Rossi by waves. Oh, should have known. And they're powered by the planetary rotation. You also need a sharp wind gradient, a rapid change in wind speeds. Is that sentence correct? I don't know. It seems weird. On Saturn, this happens at high latitude near the North Pole, which is why the hex forms there. Yeah, sure. Whatever, man. It's Saturday. I'm not going to try and correct you. I'm saying we don't know. I don't know what the hell causes that thing. <laughs> you know, the video below shows this really well. Scientists mounted a camera above a rotating cylinder filled with water. The camera spins with the cylinder so the rotation isn't apparent and put a smaller disc inside it. Well, I've never heard anybody say that before. And it spins more rapidly. Watch what happens as the fluid interacts with itself. Boom, a hexagon. How cool is that? Wow, so y'all reverse engineered Saturn's hexagon. It's gotta be seems legit. Of course, Saturn's hex is somewhat bigger. It's 20,000 kilometers under the sea. Yeah, under the, under the clouds. Actually, it's 20,000 kilometers across. Big enough to swallow the Earth with plenty of room left over. All right. This is a lot of talk of blowing and swallowing for a science article. Oh, hey, that's planet-sized. Maybe Saturn creates planets and then spits them out. You know, just like our sun. The enhanced color view is staggering, too. See that white spot to the lower right? It's bigger than Texas. Yeah, I was just saying it. It looks planet-sized. It looks like Saturn's making a planet and he's going to spit it out, just like our sun. Because to me... Your creationist theory is a joke. It's bigger than Texas, 
That's what she said. So there's your scale for you. Saturn is immense. Wonderful. From here, it looks tiny though. By the way, it looks like Neptune has a well-defined hexagon at its south pole as well. I haven't been able to confirm this. Whoa, I'm proud of you for saying that. I'm even gonna underline it. Congratulations, Phil, proud of you. I still haven't been able to confirm this, but the image of it is pretty compelling. Uranus and Neptune aren't as well observed as Saturn because we don't have orbiters there. Maybe we should. Maybe we should give up our absolute obsession with Mars and put orbiters around all the other planets before we send the 100th orbiter or rover to Mars again so we can get wonderful pictures of Mars dirt. You know, and the Mars has water. Mars has water. Yeah, well, so does your face. Cassini has been tooling around Saturn for 12 years now, so it's seen a lot. The mission is scheduled to end next year, sad tear. It has been one of the most successful space adventures humans have ever undertaken. Agreed. If real. <laughs> and the stuff we've seen from it, Saturn, will continue to mystify us for generations. I'm constantly surprised by how the universe can constantly surprise us. Agreed. That may be one of the most fun aspects of science. All right, there you go. Now we know. What do we know? I don't know. But um, I'm feeling good. I hope you're feeling good. And everybody, give yourself a hug. Pat yourself on the back. We made it through the darkest days. Everybody get ready, because hopefully life is about to get great. Peace out. God bless everybody. See you on the flip side. Stay cool. To so stick around. I need your love.